unlucky. I'd like to uh, beat this particular intermission today. I don't have a whole lot of confidence that I'll be able to do that, though. Go to the fortune teller. Come to the fortune teller's house. You can get a reading of fate. A heart seeks to unravel. Two souls. All right. Let's, uh... Let's choose you! I think I'll invite Fran. Why do we want to invite Fran? Come on, man. All right, that'll be one ticket, please. Right this way. Welcome, come right in. Please have a seat. All right. That's what they say is true. She really does have an exotic mystique about her. That's right, her face may be covered, but you can tell how beautiful she is. My, my, whatever is the matter, the both of you are staring. Keep in mind, others are waiting for their turn. Shall we begin? Sorry about that, we're ready. Very well, but before we proceed, could I perhaps trouble you for your blood types? Blood types? It's an imperative factor when it comes to making a proper reading. Uh, though naturally, I won't force you if you'd rather not say. I don't mind, I'm type zero. I'm a type zero too. All world, very much. Now what kind of reading do you seek? All right, let's leave it to Fran. How about you decide, Fran? Is there a reading you want? Oh, you're letting me pick. Let's see. I know. You can see anything in that ball of yours, right, Miss Fortune Teller? Can you tell me where Ban Ban is? Ban Ban? Isn't that what you named that stuffed animal you love so much? Uh huh. I was going to bring him to Michelin today, but I couldn't find him after my mom cleaned the apartment yesterday. I looked everywhere. I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, uh, do you think you can help? Simple task. Oh, she's amazing. This poor mislaid stuffed animal. Would it happen to be a bear? Yeah, that's right. Ban Ban the bear. How do you know? I could tell the moment I saw a silhouette take form in my mind's eye. Your dearest Ban Ban is currently in the shadows beneath your bed. Under my bed? That's weird, I thought I already looked there. On the contrary, perhaps you considered it too obvious a hiding place overlooking it as a result. I am certain you will find your friend if you search thoroughly enough. Alright, thank you so much. Oh, would you look at that, I'm happy for you, friend. Thank goodness, I've been so sad about Bam Bam. Uh, imagine how lonely he must be without me. And as I get home tomorrow, I'm gonna find him. Happy to be of service. Oh, she was so mystical and magical. I've always looked up to tough girls like Noe, but that fortune teller's got a pretty good thing going on too. No kidding. It's not often you meet someone like her in Crossbell. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off for now. Okay, see you around. And she's gone. Go to the rest area. Ooh, cooking recipe. Rainbow cotton candy. Ugh. A surfboard. Oh, me, he, my. Could it be? Are you Ilya Plateria from Arkansas? She's been a fan of yours from the very beginning. Have you now? That's an honor coming from the most popular face in town. 
What do you say, Mishy? Between you and me, we'll keep Crossbell entertained for ages to come. So the Castle of Mirrors in this attraction, you can explore the castle's interior to your liking for making a wish in front of the wishing mirror in the top floor. Highly recommend you invite someone to share your experience with. I choose you. Go invite Kia. That'll be one ticket, please. Thank you very much. Very time exploring the fantastic castle of mirrors. This is the Castle of Mirrors. Heard a lot about uh, it being the centerpiece of the park. Honestly, it's more impressive uh, on the inside than I could have imagined. It's that spinning thing in the middle. That's the Star Globe. They probably put it here to give you, uh, give this place a little extra touch of magic. I like it. Yeah, it's uh, something else, huh? The IBC never ceases to amaze. So the wishing, uh, wishing mirror should be somewhere in here, right? The one that Ellie was talking about. I think it's at the very top. All right, let's try heading there and looking for it then. Okie dokie. Wait, are there enemies on the map? be the enemies and you two and you two here we are the top floor of the castle of mirrors that must be the bell we're supposed to ring over there and those ropes on the sides for ringing it that's probably what Ellie was talking about before. And there's the wishing mirror right up those stairs. You ring the bell and make a wish in front of the mirror, it's supposed to come true, right? What should I ask for? Well, step number one is going to take both of us, so let's go get that out of the way. I still see enemies. that floor down below to see if I can see them. I don't see them, Captain. That should do it. Now we just have to stand in front of the mirror. Yeah, let's go. Here we go, time to make our wishes. We just tell the mirror what we want out loud? I think it'll work if you say it silently, you know, like a prayer. Alrighty, let's give it a shot. That should do it. Yep, I just made mine too. So, what'd you wish for, Lloyd? Me? Well, it was so generic that I'm kind of embarrassed to say. I wished for the ability to continue protecting Crossbell. With you and the rest of the SSS, too, of course. Yeah, I knew you'd say something like that. I'll take that as a compliment. How about you, Kia? What did you wish for? I had too many uh, to pick just one. So I gave my wish to Shizuku instead. Told the mirror that I want her eyes to get better. 
Yeah, I hope they do too. I can only imagine how complicated her next surgery could get, though. But any wish you say in front of this mirror is supposed to come true, right? So I can just keep making it over and over again as many times as it takes. That's right, Kia. And you won't be the only one. You might be wishing for a miracle, but sometimes miracles really do happen. What's wrong, Kia? It's nothing. Anyway, uh, let's go ring the bell again. Ding dong, ding dong. Rocco? Aren't you full of energy? Oh, that castle was so big, I had a ton of fun. Is it okay if I go play somewhere else now? Of course, see you later. Bye, Lloyd. Lloyd. Mishy here. Gotta find Mishy. She's not here either. Where you at, Mishy? Hiding from me. Found you. You know, the fortune teller here is amazingly talented. You get all sorts of fortunes read from her and give it a try. No, I'm good. I'm gonna go to the horror coaster. Home to the Haunted Villa, home to the Michelin's Wonderland's Horror Coaster. On this thrilling attraction, you'll be armed with nothing but an orbital blaster as you go through a mansion of frightful monsters. Enter it alone, if you dare, but I suggest you bring someone along for the ride. Alright, I will choose... Ooh, suckle foo Fran again. Oh, it's the new ride everyone's been talking about. My heart won't stop pounding. Out of excitement, oh. uh, I'm guessing. You don't seem to mind this horror stuff too much. Anyway, are you ready to head, in, uh, head inside? Yeah, uh, make sure to get all those ghosties good, all right? Very well, that'll be one ticket, please. Find the orbital gun inside your car. Shoot the nefarious beings that will assault you, and perhaps you'll manage to survive. Uh, do try to come back in one piece. Just let you choose? Okay, you can choose the next one, Mana Drive. Let's go on normal. <clears throat> Oop.
Oh no! No! No. Soccer fool. That one was a little too quick. Stars, you know what? We don't take that. We're the last two people I had before this one. Uh, I chose Fran. Our Fran got chose twi or chosen twice, and uh, Kia got chosen once. Uh, that was just what the doctor ordered. Good thing you took those classes at the academy, Lloyd. Uh, you were shooting like a real pro in there. Never had to deal with so many targets back then. Still, I'm glad you had fun. See you later. Bye bye for now. Okay, I love you. Bye bye. Where you at, Mishy? Aha. What's that pink thing back there? Oh my, you found me. Hiya, mister. My name is Michette. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you must be Mishy's little sister, right? Teal did say something about running into you if I got lucky. I guess this is what she meant. So you've heard of me. I'm honored. No problem, but uh, if you don't mind me asking, Michette, what were you doing back there? I just really love playing hide and seek is all. My favorite pastime is lying in wait around Michelin Wonderland for my Prince Charming to come find me. That sounds unnecessary, uh, unnecessarily counterintuitive, but all right. So uh, does that make me your Prince Charming today? Right on the me he mark. I'm oh so happy you found me. You're the perfect Prince Charming, plus a hundred times cooler than my brother and his dumb droopy face. Yikes, she really tore into the poor guy there. What do you say, mister? Do you want to play hide-and-seek together? I beg your pardon? Only a, prin only a prince lucky enough to find me gets the chance to play this game, their special game. To win, you have to track me down in Michelin Wonderland a total of five times. Uh, you can even bring a friend. There's a prize for you, too. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? It'll take a while. I won't have a chance to spend my tickets until it's over. Let's do it. Why not? I'll give it a shot. That's the spirit. I'm going to get to hiding while you find yourself somebody to help you look. Uh, if you ever want to give up, just tell my big brother Mishy in the main plaza. See you later. Alright, Mana Dryad, who am I choosing? Uh, I'm the one who got myself into this. I'll have to make sure I recruit a good partner. Who should I ask for help? These are your options. Let's, uh, let, let's avoid Fran, okay? We've already gotten Fran twice, and nobody likes Fran. Tio? Tio's a good choice. I think I'll ask for Tio's help. See, you had the honor of receiving a challenge from Michette. In that case, we have no choice but to give her the very best seeking the SSS has to offer. Great. Thanks for the lending hand. It has to be somewhere inside the theme park. Let's get to searching. Oh, this is a uh, hidden quest. You know, when, when Teal brought this to me, I was just like, I... 
No, like I'll, I'll try, but I didn't think this would be, you know, like a thing. There you are. Found me. Must be one lucky mister, mister. That's twice you've managed to sniff me out. Two flukes in a row is nothing to sneeze at. Is that what they were? Don't get too confident. Uh, all of this was just a test so far. Sooner or later, your luck is going to run out. I'm in a clean getaway. And said I was expecting this to be much more difficult. Took the words right out of my mouth. I guess just because she loves hide and seek doesn't necessarily mean she's good at it. Anyway, let's keep up the pace and see if we can track her down again. Right, I thought I could get lucky on this one. I don't see her. everywhere you can go. It's everywhere you can go, right? Oh, you're right here. That's a little sneaky. Oh, there you are. Oh, you found me. Maybe I underestimated you. Found me not once, not twice, but thrice now. Uh, that's more than just luck, mister. I mean, if you say so. Alrighty, this next round won't be so easy. No more Miss Nice, Michette. Well, there's no way you'll track me down this time. This marks the second time the two of us managed to find her. Though her new hiding spot will likely be even more difficult. Yeah, the way she put it makes me a little anxious, but let's get started. I wonder where she could have gone. We're gonna start. Uh, our normal haunts. Ha 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 ha. I crack myself up. Alright, so that's good to know that she's not going to be you know, over there. Uh -oh. That wasn't very difficult. There she is. Found me again. You really got a talent for this, mister. It's unthinkable for someone to find me when I'm hiding or trying to hide this hard. I'm trying this hard to hide. Something tells me that's an exaggeration. Well, whatever. You still have to find me two more times to win. Good luck. Does it feel like she's uh, taking a shine to me? Consider yourself blessed if you know what's good for you. In any case, let's do our best to find her next hiding place. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so she's at the horror coaster. The only place left. Yep, I see her.
There you are. Now you found me again. You've seeked me out four times now, and so quickly, too, I can barely believe it. If only some of your talent could rub off on my brainless brother, Mishy. Harsh, Miss, uh, Michette never, uh, really never lets up on the poor guy, does she? And this is the last round. For your final challenge, I'm going to hide in, my, in the best spot I know. Let's see if you can find me this time. About time, I was starting to think we'd never get to the end of this. It's not like she can leave the park, so it can't be too hard. Uh, we know our way around uh, well enough at this point. Let the seeking begin. The only place left, and you're right here. It's like we win. No, you found me again. You're amazing, mister. Seek me out in all five of my hiding spots in record time, too. I admit my complete and total defeat. With that, I hereby W. Michelin Wonderland's King of Hide and Seek. King of Hide and Seek? Michette has seen fit to bestow a title upon you. You should be honored. Well, that's not all. It's time to receive your extra special reward for besting me. Ooh. Well, thanks. You're very welcome. But sadly, it's now time for me to say goodbye. Have a me he tacular day at Michelin Wonderland, okay? Uh, that way, you'll have a ton of fun memories to take home. That was Mishi's little sister. What an intense character. Agreed. She not only lived up to the rumors, she exceeded them. Thank you for the enjoyable time, Lloyd. I'll just be excusing myself. Yeah, see you later. I feel like... Tio should have had so much more to say for that. Like, that was... That was Tio's thing, you know? Ooh, this kid's minus defense. That's crazy. Really? 50 accuracy? You suck a fool. Honestly, some people need this. Not times they be missing, but you suck. Alright, I have two tickets left. I haven't ridden the Ferris wheel yet. Tells me we have a new King of Hide and Seek in the park. That gift she gave you is a wonderful thing. It's my sincerest wishy that you treasure it forever. I haven't done the Ferris wheel yet, so we'll do the Ferris wheel. Probably save as well. Welcome to the Sunshine Mall Ferris wheel. Here you can see the very best views in all of Michelin from the comfort of your gondola. I'm not taking a friend for a ride. I choose... You! And go invite Cecile. Whew, I thought I chose Fran for a second. I was about to say, you suck a fool. Alright, that'll be one ticket. Two guests coming in. Alright, so this is what the inside of the gondolas is like. It almost feels like, uh, feels as though we're rocking in a giant cradle. Yeah, this is my first time too, and it's nothing like how I imagined it. This is probably going to be a bumpy ride, so be careful, Cecile. Don't worry, Lloyd, I will. Isn't this nice? We haven't had any alone time since we saw Ark and Seal during the anniversary festival. I'm glad to have a chance to uh, sit and chat with you like this. Yeah, same here. What does it feel like it's getting hotter in here all of a sudden? No, I can see why they call this place an amusement park. But with all these attractions and that adorable little mascot, Mishy, and it truly is a land of dreams. I know what you mean. Did you ever want to do this sort of thing with Guy back when he was alive? Maybe just a little. Sadly, we never had anything like this in Crossbell back then. But that's okay. It's not as though I didn't have as much fun on the dates we did go on. 
he and I would always go out to eat at his favorite food carts around the city. He took you out to eat at food carts? Aren't dates supposed to be special? Uh, he could have at least splurged for something fancier than that. Well, I didn't mind. The food was so good, I started to become fond of it. And Cecile and Guy truly were made for each other. Oh look, we're nearly at the top. The view of the lake really is lovely. It feels different seeing it from here instead of at St. Ursula. Yeah, you're right. This will make for a wonderful memory for us to look back on. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. We're almost back at the bottom. Are you ready to go, Cecile? Yes, let's. Oh, thing didn't even stop moving before you even got out of that, man. Uh, that was so much fun. Thank you again for inviting me, Lloyd. Pleasure was mine. I'll see you later, Cecile. See you again soon. All right. I have one ticket left. Thank you, thank you. That's all Mihi Mar Arvelous time. Day's not over. There's still so much fun to be had. What are you selling? Oh. Range three. Yo. Uh, we're gonna buy one of those. Range three. What is the thing that I think the the Michette pause might be better than than the other item that we have? But because I don't have my other people, I can't actually see it. I take one of these. I think I do buy two Michette paws, just in case. We're gonna give you that. Alright, glad I spoke to that guy. I was not going to do that. I'm gonna go to the fortune teller for the last one. And I'll choose the person this time. Hmm. I think it's between Wazy, Noel. Let's go with... Let's go with Wazy. I think this will be interesting. Uh, that will be one ticket. Alright, this way. Back for more, are you? Uh, come in, come in, have a seat. You? I'm honored that you would take the time to visit me again. Now, if you wouldn't mind, uh, could I trouble you for your blood types? If I remember correctly, you, sir, are type 0, isn't that correct? Yeah, I am. Type AB, last, I, last time I checked. Thank you very much. And what kind of reading do you seek? Leave it to Wazy. Well, you decide, Wazy. What you got? Oh, what a gentleman. Let me think. I know, how about this? Can you tell me whether or not I'll finally get what I'm looking for here in Crossbell? What you're looking for? As in, that's my, that's a secret, my dear. Well, Miss Fortune Teller, is that something you can divine? A very intriguing. I suppose I can give it a shot. Let's see, something the matter, Miss Fortune Teller? No, no, not at all. Whatever it is you've been seeking. It is nearly within your reach, uh, yet far away enough to elude your grasp for the moment. 
You would do well to remain patient and bide your time, so say the stars. Thus ends my reading. See, that's answer enough for me. It is? I have no idea what any of it meant. Oh, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. For now, anyway. Besides, things are always spicier with a few little secrets, don't you think? How little are they, really? What a fascinating woman. I wouldn't have minded having a bit more time to chat with her. Yeah, I know what you mean. I feel like I could learn a lot about the world from her readings. Anyway, I think I'm going to take off for now. So long. Left for a bit during that awful beach stuff. Now you're pleased to return to the non-fan service. Welcome back, Epic Otter. Uh, and so, the special support section's day of fun at Michelin Wonderland came and went in the blink of an eye. But in the others reluctantly left the park just before the start of nighttime show, taking their newly made memories with them. They then returned to the hotel to prepare for the upcoming dinner party at the state guest house. Uh, this place is called Ishala. Those M's are just decoration. Right, got it. I'm sure everyone else will be fine with that too. Sorry again that you couldn't come along, Chief. Understood. I will make sure to get all the uh, all the rest we need before we come back. Good to know everything's okay at the SSS building. Probably just overthinking things. Evening's ladies and gentlemen of the SSS. I left you all a little something to remember me by. Enjoy yourselves. That hacker must have been the one who supplied the tower's data to the terrorists. At the same time, I didn't get the sense he belonged to either of the two terrorist cells. Yin also mentioned the hacker isn't likely a member of Heiyue or the Red Constellation either. But if that's the case, who could they be? Somehow I knew you'd still be... something. Uh, in the room. Hey, Wazy. I think I get the picture here. You called the chief because you were worried about how things are going at the SSS building, right? How could you tell? We've been working together for over a month now. Give me some credit. You really are a natural-born leader, you know that? I'm just a little anxiety-prone. Uh, if I were that good a leader, I don't think I'd still be dwelling on things like this. If you ask me, no two leaders are the same. You may not be a complete idiot, and your intuition's better than most. Uh, but at your core, you're still as generic as they come. The way I see it, you're working with what the goddess gave you. There's no shame in that. You're terrible at pep talks, you know that? I know you mean well, but do you have to be so patronizing, too? You're the one here who isn't ashamed of his candor, my friend. Uh, you're nowhere near as shrewd as Sao or that jokester of an imperial agent. That's a good thing, if you ask me. It's better to play to your strengths uh, than try to be someone you're not. What, do you disagree? No, it's not that. I just never thought about it that way before. Thanks, Wazy. This might be exactly what I needed to hear tonight. Glad to be of service. So, shall we, shall we be off to the dinner party? Yeah, let's go. You have equipped. I think I'm going to give that to uh, Home Chick Slice. By the way, where's Kia? Did she already go with someone? Yeah, she left with the girls. They're probably waiting for us at the guest house. Okay, that's fine then. Why, something up? Well, she looked a little on edge when she wandered off earlier. She seemed to be having fun at the park, though, so it's probably nothing to worry about. Fun is a light way to put it. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, check these other rooms, just in case. Right. That particular room has uh, 
a longer uh, animation throws me off every time. What are you doing chilling here? Oh, hello, Lloyd. So this is where you were, Cecile, and you have Zeet with you. You two are quite the odd couple. Uh, so what are you up to? Killing time before you go to the guest house? I'll be heading over shortly. Zeet escorted me here not too long ago. The place isn't as loud as the theme park, so I thought I'd cool off in the breeze a bit beforehand. Hey, Cecile, it looks like you've got a lot on your mind. Is something wrong? No, nothing wrong, per se. But you're right about the first part. Maybe now would be a good time to talk about it. You see, they've selected the date for Shizuku's next operation. Dr. Salen will be performing a procedure on her in an attempt to restore her vision. Shizuku's having surgery. She's had several in the past already, but none have succeeded in bringing her eyesight back. Her complications span the fields of surgery to internal medicine and to neurology. A complete and total recovery will be hard to achieve. This time, however, Dr. Saland will be trying a new technique that she's been researching for a while now. A new technique, really now. The finer details are outside my area of expertise, to be honest. But apparently Dr. Saland's background in both surgical and neurological science makes her uniquely qualified to perform it. The margin for error is slim, and the doctor wants everything to be perfect, so we recently had the latest equipment brought in from Remiferia. According to Dr. Salen, though, the odds of the procedure succeeding are still 50-50 at best. Wow, 50-50 odds, even after all that. Not exactly uh, the sort of thing you'd want to bet on. Didn't she just say that the odds of failure are slim? Uh, I know, but when I think about all the setbacks she's already endured, uh, this is the best chance she's ever had. I pray this is the time it finally works. Right, not just for her sake, but for Arios's too. We'll keep Shizuku in our thoughts and prayers, Cecile. Thank you, Lloyd. I'm sure it'll bring her much comfort to hear that. There you are, Cecile. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, Ilya, is something the matter? Something the matter, oh, for crying out loud. You told me you'd be a little late ages ago. I was about to tear up, or tear up the entire resort tracking you down. Sorry about that. We can head over there right now. I'll be seeing the both of you inside, and thank you for the chat. Talking things out helped clear my mind a bit. I know you have more than enough worries to go around these days, but remember, Shizuku and I are always cheering you on. So no matter what happens, keep those chins up for us, okay? Thanks, Cecile. We won't forget that. Now then, shall we be off, Ilya? Ha, ah, not so fast, Missy. Just what sort of scandalous conversations were you having with my favorite little guy and his pal, hmm? Come on now, let me in on it. Ironic, isn't it? Trying to cheer Cecile up only made her do the same to us, but better. Yeah, that about sums her up, all right. Anyway, we should be on our way to the guest house, too. Sing us off, are you? Take it easy, Zeet. Top dog over there. And they're leaving the door open. All the bugs could be flying in there, man. What's wrong with you? Welcome to the state guest house at Michelin Resort. Masters Lord and Lord Lord uh, Masters Lloyd and Wazy from the SSS, I presume. Yes, that's us. Wait, I remember you. You were the guide who was at the auction, weren't you? Terribly sorry about what happened that night. I never would have imagined my previous employer would turn out the way he went has. Many of the old servants, myself included, were retained and entrusted with managing the state guest house. It was by the kindness of Mayor Croy uh, that we were allowed to preserve our livelihoods. Really now, I'm glad to hear that. 
The dignitaries from the trade conference stayed here as well, didn't they? I'll bet they, uh, bet you really earned your pay. My thanks to you both. You are simply too kind. There they are. Hey, Kia, did you miss me? Yep, I've been exploring with Sully to pass the time. He said that dinner party thingy is going to be starting soon. So hurry up and get into your seats. Got it. Show us the way, if you would. Of course, please come inside. But and the others were guided to the guest house's banquet hall. Mayor Croy and his daughter, Mariabelle, arrived shortly thereafter. Warm greetings were exchanged with the mayor, who apologized for his tardiness. At last, the luxurious yet unpretentious dinner party could truly begin. Lazy is secretly a princess or something? I don't really, I, I don't really know what to make of Wazy. You know, Wazy's keeping things close to the vest. <sighs> uh, once again, I can't apologize enough for keeping you all waiting. After all, what kind of host shows up late to his own dinner party? That's uh, okay, Mr. Mayor. Everybody understands how busy you are. We appreciate all you have been doing. Yes, but just know that uh, he's only as busy as he is by choice. Guilty as charged. Well, I'm usually too busy rehearsing and performing to keep up with politics, to be perfectly honest. That said, there was no avoiding the news of the drastic proposal you made. If we're all being honest, then I should admit that uh, it was something I've been ruminating on since taking office. Frankly, I never intended to include it in the conference agenda, but the discourse grew a tad heated and I'd had uh, all I could take. So I decided then was the time to grab the bull by the horns. So you did. And now that the curtain has risen, you have to keep dancing until the end, isn't that right? Precisely. Speaking of the stage, it's my understanding that Arkham Seal will be holding a revival production of Golden Sun, Silver Moon. And it just so happens that the local ref referendum gauging the public's interest in independence is being held one week after its opening. And such was the reason I invited you and your troop here, happy coincidence that it is. Go figure. And I appreciate that you did. This break has been a long time coming. Thank you again for inviting us. Thanks. After hearing all that, I feel a bit uncertain about my own place at this table. Oh, not at all, Miss Nuez. Uh, you're this table's representative of the esteemed... St. Ursula Hospital. Uh, I've heard quite a bit about you. Must say, your sterling reputation precedes you. Some even call you the second coming of St. Ursula herself. Believe me when I say it is an honor to meet you. Please, Mr. Mayor, I think you may be exaggerating just a tad. Thank you for your kind words. The honor is all mine. Oh, Father, do you realize you've sung the praises of nobody but the women here, don't you? How about sparing some of those kind words for Lloyd and the others as well? Oh, my apologies. Being surrounded by so many beautiful young ladies would be enough to sweep any man my age off his feet. No problem. We're thankful you invited us. That's right. This little diversion was exactly what we needed. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Today was the most fun I've had in a long time. Why is Fran here, by the way? Yeah, me too. Well, I guess I guess she's like... Honorary... Uh... Uh... SSS member. Good, good. That was the hope. Forgive me for bringing this up again, but I wish to speak of the harrowing events that transpired at the conference. The terrorists were guilty of trying to destroy the tower, but I never wanted that day to end the way it did. I do believe their sins, or do not believe their sins, nor anyone else's for that matter, were grave enough to warrant taking their lives. I intend to work to ensure that such tragedies cannot happen again, as well as show the people of this world that justice is still alive and well. Oh, Mayor Croy. Hearing you say that helps wash away some of the concerns weighing on my mind. I have a question regarding the state independence referendum. Will Crossbell truly become its own political entity if the public votes in favor of it? 
No, the re referendum itself doesn't have the power to make independence a reality. However, the results will serve as a concrete message to our neighbors abroad. Once votes are in, an international public opinion will begin to form. That will be our opportunity to snatch independence from the major powers. Or at least that's how I imagine it. Ballsy play. Make it sound all too e or, yeah, all too easy. The way I see it, you're leading Crossbell right into dire straits. Easy. No, it's, ex it's exactly as he says. There's no question about the complex geopolitical challenge Crossbell State's independence will present. However, the hearts of mankind are not so frail as to be swept away by the waves of hardship. Even in the face of great diversity, a man maintains his dignity and pursues his ideals. I believe the potential to do so is precisely what makes us human. Uncle. Potential to pursue one's ideals with dignity. Well said. So yes, the path Crossbell must walk will, in fact, be fraught with peril. But uh, that notwithstanding, my peers and I will struggle and strive in the coming weeks to open that path for us all. However, it will be the duty of the next generation to aim just as high and keep us on that path. Mayor Croy took a look ar around the room, making eye contact with each and every one of his guests. I ask that uh, all of you continue contributing to Crossbell's future in whatever manner you can. Once the dinner party came to a close, Lloyd and the others returned to the third floor of the hotel. Feeling exhausted yet strangely uplifted, they decided to turn in early for the night. And then... That's what your theory, theory is? The top during the beach scene really made you wonder? I mean, another possibility would be like some artificial being or clone or whatever uh, that needs to be protected, hidden from plain sight, hence false identity. Out of sleeps. Good night, Manadryad. Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, you know, all that other good stuff. Crossbell's barriers. Same barriers that have stood before us all year. Uh, maybe Mayor Croy is doing what he believes is necessary for Crossbell to surmount them. What about us? When Ravash was toppled, one of those barriers crumbled alongside it, irrespective of our uh, efforts. And now, the hurdle we find in front of us is even greater than ever before. Is the SSS, am I really doing enough to make a difference? And if not, am I really okay with that? Is this going no or this is going nowhere. I'm exhausted yet I can't sleep a wink. Maybe I should go to the lounge and get some water. Think I will beat the game today? Uh, not a chance. Uh I'm predicting that this game is uh going to be at least uh at least 51 hours, because that's what it took me to beat the previous game. 